Hello, um, I was just in the middle of this repair and I thought this would be a good topic to touch upon. Uh, anyone repairing an iPad which is USB-C may come across uh, this IC here, which is a CD3217 B12 IC and the ROM IC. These two are difficult chips to uh, replace. You can replace them by taking them off another board, but what happens if you haven't got one? If you haven't got a replacement board, so I'm going to show you how to replace it with brand new RCs. Uh, these two chips are actually not paired. Uh, what happens is when the CD32 chip burns out, it burns out the ROM IC, and the ROM IC uh, contains the data for the chip. So, yeah, it has to be programmed using this programmer. Uh, also, you'll need this adapter. Uh, if I can just get it in focus. Yeah, this is the V1S Pro adapter. And this is uh, specifically for uh, programming ROM ICs. So yeah, you'll need these two to uh, do this repair if you want to replace the chip with a brand new IC. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch over to the microscope so you can see a bit better. Just for a side note, uh, you can do this uh, repair by replacing it with this uh, another board. So you take them off another board and put them on. But this is for people who haven't got another donor board. Right, so this is the chip and this is the one I see. So these are the two chips I'm talking about. Right, I'm just going to do it under the microscope. The camera might not be as clear as the other one, but I'll try my best. So first off, you put the uh, adapter into the programmer and you power on the programmer. I'll try my best to get in focus so you can see what's going on. It's just easier to do it under the microscope because it's a bit clearer. Right, so I'll dig out a brand new ROM I see. These are very tiny, so they're a bit difficult to move around. The dot's there, and you have to line it up with this arrow. And you have to get in this little square. That's it. Just make sure the dot's lined up with the, uh, uh, the triangle. Yeah, so that's that. We're going to close that up. And I'll make sure this light goes green. This is the LED underneath. Make sure that goes green and it's not red. That means it's reading the chip. And just for uh, measure, I'll press check. This, uh, this one second, let me get the screen in focus. I'll try my best to move the lights out of the way. I think that's the best I'm going to get it under the microscope. So yeah, once you've got the chip in, press check. And as you can see, it's detecting the chip. And then down here, open, and then click server file. And oh yeah, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi to do this. And then bring up all the models, iPad 10, iPad Pro, uh, so on. Uh, the one we want is iPad Pro 11 2021. Then we go open. And as you can see, it's downloading all the data for the chip. And then we're going to click right, which is over here on the right hand side. Right. And then we we'll confirm. And now I started writing to the IC. This will copy all the ROM data over to the chip. So when you install it, it will work properly. And the ROM IC has to be programmed before installing. And right succeeded. Right, so we can go ahead and take this out now. It's a pretty quick process once you've um, got the programmer and that.
Right, so all that's required now is to tin the bottom of the ROM IC um, because the ROM IC doesn't come pre-tinned. And um, once you've done that, uh, the CD3217B12 uh, chip, it, it isn't required to reball. It already comes with the balls on it. So, and that requires no programming. So now, with the ROM IC, you now have a brand new set of chips that can be installed and these will work now. So this is uh, the method of uh, how to replace using brand new chips rather than using a donor board. So yeah, I hope it helps someone out and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see any more. Thanks.